everybody. Welcome to Iwakuni. This is Heather, and this is the view that we're going to be seeing for the next three years. Um, I just wanted to take the opportunity to show you around. This is our parking lot. This is our mini that I'm completely in love with. The noise you hear is the train. Our train tracks are right here. Um, so I just wanted to take you inside. These are the houses around us. And our house is at the end here. This is our door. This is a little area where we're allowed to plant, um, you know, a bush or flowers or vegetables or whatever we want. This right here is pretty cool. It has a little camera that shows you the entire area around the porch. So when someone's standing here and we don't know who they are, we can check on them from inside. I think it's pretty cool. So this is our door. Going inside in Japanese homes, it is considered impolite. Uh, and dirty to wear your shoes in the house or to not be wearing slippers. So, we got some slippers and then you can go into the next room. Just opened up a door. So this is our house. And we turned the heat on so it's really nice and warm. And something interesting for Japanese houses is that they kind of compartmentalize their rooms and heat just what they need, which I think is a pretty good idea, because heat and electricity are pretty expensive here. So this is our living room. Uh, there's a sliding door with dark wood floors, an interesting wall here. Um, I'm excited to put some pictures up. Um, let's see. Up here is the heater. Um, I think this is pretty interesting. This little gadget here controls all the um, temperature. So this one is for heat. This one is for uh, dehumidifier. And this one is for air conditioning for the summertime. Um, this one is a timer, so you can just tell it you want it to, you know, heat up your house after work in eight hours. Or you can say turn off in four hours if you don't really need it while you're sleeping or whatever. Um, Let's see the rest of the house. Here's our spiral staircase. And this is the kitchen. This is where we're going to put our dining room table. And a nice, efficient kitchen. Um, this is our sink. It's a little bit different. It pulls out. So it's like a shower. Um, the other interesting difference is you can either um, have regular water or you can press this button and it will purify it for you. So you get it like a little bit slower but it is um, repurified. This is our oven. It's pretty interesting. This is the infamous fish oven. It's only big enough for a couple of fish. <laughs> and these are all the crazy instructions for how to work it. Hopefully I can figure it out. Our family housing person explained it, but I think I forgot it pretty quickly. Um, these burners apparently can only use magnetized pots and pans, so we're going to have to get some of those. And this one doesn't need magnetized, but it's not as strong. Here's the vent. Lots of cupboard space. Um, out here is a plum tree. And looks like someone's fixing up an old car. Uh, and there's a shed from our neighbor. And yeah, the train tracks are over here. So now I'm going to take you upstairs. The spiral staircase. I don't know how long we c my camera will let me record, but here's one room. It has a closet. 
Do -do -do. Here's the bathroom. Well, the toilet anyway. Um, heated toilet seat covers are pretty standard here, which I think is weird. Um, and then here's the little sink area, and apparently they don't use soap when they wash their hands. Here is what we're going to use as our office or a guest bedroom. So it's cool. Has a little balcony. Then around the corner is the master bedroom and a big closet that will fill up pretty quickly. Yay! And here's our um, balcony again. See how the weather's doing before we get dressed. Awesome. And that's about it. Here's a view from the top of our stairs. Uh, you can just kind of look in other people's windows, I guess. But yeah. Um, so, anyway, thanks for checking out my tour. We're pretty close to a couple sushi places and a hardware store and really close to the base. So I could actually walk to base from here, but we're still out in town and we're going to have some Japanese neighbors and we're close to the lotus field. So I'm pretty excited about that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.